close your eyes and ask yourself, where is your breath right now? When you breathe in, where do you feel it? When you breathe out, where do you feel it? Try to focus your attention right there and see if you can keep it there. See if you can train the mind to stay with one thing continually. How long can you do this? As the Buddha said, the mind when trained brings happiness. Jitang dantang sukhawahang. Because it's, if it's left to its normal nature, its normal habits, it just wanders around. Looks at the sky, looks at the flowers, looks at the birds, looks at the trees, looks at the cell phones, thinks about these things, and goes around and around and around. And here we're trying to get it to stay in one place. Because so the mind wanders around, it can wander into all kinds of things. You can start thinking about things that make you happy, but then they suddenly turn sad and get you upset. And so we're going to be able to hold it back. Tell the mind to stay, it's going to stay. When you tell it to go, it goes. That's the kind of mind you want. Because it's only then that you can find your happiness. We respect the Buddha because he teaches us the principles for true happiness. And he teaches us to respect something in ourselves, our desire for true happiness, something that's really worthy of respect. The world at large, outside, doesn't teach you that kind of respect. It tells you that lasting happiness is not possible unless you buy our stuff. That's all they're interested in. They're not really interested in your happiness, they're interested in your buying their stuff. So how can you trust them? The Buddha doesn't want anything from you. Here he is offering a free gift, which is a way to find a happiness that's really lasting, a happiness that you can rely on. But it will depend on training your mind. It comes from skill, and skills take time. This is why when we're born into the world, our education takes quite a lot of time. Think about other animals that are born in the world. If they had to go through an education system that lasted you know, 12 years, they'd die first. We fortunately can generally live longer than that, but it requires a long time for us to get to, to be trained. And even if we follow the educational system, we don't get the important training, which is in tra training in how to control our minds. So we want them to think, they'll think. When we want them to stop thinking, they'll stop. We get them to think of things that really do lead to happiness. That's a mind that's well trained. And it starts with simple exercises like this. How long can you stay with the breath? How comfortable can you make the breath? If the breath gets comfortable, it makes it more interesting to stay here. And if the mind is interested in staying here, it's more likely to stay here for a long time. And when you get it to stay, then you can get it to think about things that you really do see are worth thinking about. And because you're coming from a more stable place, you're more likely to come to good answers to whatever questions you may have. So this is the skill that the Buddha taught. This It's one of the reasons why we respect him so much. After his awakening, he could have taught us anything. He could have spent the rest of his life just talking about how wonderful awakening was. But he realized that that wouldn't serve any purpose. He wanted to teach in a way that was really helpful to people. That's why he taught us the Dharma, about how we can understand where we're creating unnecessary suffering for ourselves and how we can learn how to stop. We learn how to stop by training the mind. So that way we find a happiness that really is reliable, a happiness that really is worthy of respect, because it's not only reliable, but it's also harmless. It doesn't harm you, it doesn't harm anybody else. And that kind of happiness is a rare thing in the world. So value the opportunity to practice in that direction, because there are a lot of people who don't know about it. A lot of people don't care. They've been taught that that kind of happiness cannot be attained by human beings, which cuts off the possibility right there. Here the Buddha teaches us, yes, it is possible. He, he attained it himself. He's taught many, many people to attain it. And the skill has been passed on now for more than 2,600 years. And here it is for us. 
we can pick it up and take advantage of it as well. So try to train your mind every day, every day. And you find that the Buddha was right. The well-trained mind does bring happiness. <laughs>